I'm going to go through and do an updated 2022 walkthrough of my vintage toy and video game store, Pandora's Box Toys and Collectibles in Lafayette, New Jersey. Uh, in about a month, we got Matt Cardona doing a signing here. Got to throw a little bit of promotion in that. Tickets are live now. Walking in the door, here is your view or your choice. Once you walk in, you kind of get to pick your poison of which way you want to go. I am going to start us off to the right here. So this first wall or aisle has a little bit of everything in the beginning. And then as we start to get deeper into the store, stuff is going to be sectioned off. Nightmare Before Christmas, Ghostbusters, Turtles. Then the whole one side wall of the store is just a massive amount of vintage new old stock factory sealed action figures of all types. The top shelf is all high end stuff along the entire wall. We got X-Men, Simpsons, Rocky, Puppet Master, Awesome Powers, Batman, Turtles, Bucky O'Hare, Beast Wars, Aliens, Batman, Gumby, Muppets, Spawn, Wrestling, Star Trek, more Spawn, Babylon 5, you know, whatever. It's just all types of random stuff throughout the whole wall. A lot of these things have other sections we're gonna go through in a minute. And then when you turn this first corner, wrestling was on the left, which we're gonna get to, but then we start with horror down this way. This whole left section is horror. This is loose. You know, 80s, 90s, 70s, there's some modern Marvel Legends and stuff in there. Going back to the left, when you walked into the front, this is our video game store section. This whole wall is mostly toys related to video games. Mario, Pokemon, Crash, Minecraft, you know, Mortal Kombat, Final Fantasy, whatever. Then this is our selection of dig through video games along the walls here. Controllers, box consoles, and then these are some, some of the case games. Uh, complete in box, loose and sealed stuff for all the vintage consoles. And then some more boxed games. And here's a bunch of different consoles to choose from. We got our carded Hasbros, or some of our carded Hasbros on the end. Uh, Firehouse, a nice wrestling toy box, and then this whole aisle all the way down is all wrestling. New and old, vintage, Hasbros, LJN, Jax, Mattel, Elites, everything. Huge selection. We do a lot of wrestling signings here. So we're always going to have a ton of wrestling stuff. Vintage shirts. Uh, there's going to be other wrestling areas as well. You go down this aisle. And this is all Star Wars. This whole aisle is all Star Wars. New, vintage, Black Series. Of course, every toy store has Episode 1 and Power of the Force. Uh, there's loose... Vintage, loose modern, and when we go up this way, this leads to the back cases. So we got some die cast stuff on the end. This case is mostly 60s and 70s type collectibles. More die cast, we got mask. There's more mask back there. All types of goodies, Jurassic Park. Shogun Godzilla, Sealed Millennium Falcon, LGN Wrestling Ring, Sealed Job of the Hut, Jurassic Park stuff sealed, Godaikin robots, and 
gem, Voltron, turtles, more wrestling stuff, belts, wrestling buddies. This is a case with some of our more expensive vintage wrestling figures, more carded Hasbros, LJNs, block card stuff, case fresh stuff, sign stuff. This case is carded Thundercats, some Wuzzles, Popples, Muscle, some nice loose vintage. This case is carded and graded G.I. Joes, Master of the Universe, She-Ra. Here's that vintage Star Wars case I was talking about. Right, so when we turn back around, this is the end cap of the Star Wars aisle. Some Marvel and DC figures on the end of there. And then on, on our left here, we got a small Jurassic Park section. And then this is all G.I. Joe. There's 80s, 90s, 25th anniversary, modern stuff, boxed, loose, some 12 inch guys. This is a small Godzilla section. Um, some 90s stuff, some modern, some NECA. This is our, more of our modern transformer section. We have a case I'll get to in a little bit that has the G1s and the vintage stuff. Uh, and then this is a section of some of our Power Ranger stuff. All right, I'm gonna loop to the next aisle. Some die casts. More die cast. There's some shirts. And then we got a Lego section. Board games, models, vintage trains, pre war, 50s, 80s, whatever. All types of vintage, mostly like Lion Owl. Um, this section's a bit of a mess at the moment, but this is the like dig through sports cards, starting lineups. When I swing back around, we're at our anime section. Uh, first there's this little case, some Polly Pocket, 60s G.I. Joes, carded superpowers. But uh, So this is the anime aisle. All types of Dragon Ball Z stuff. Uh, Gundam, Robotech, Sailor Moon, My Hero. Kind of whatever matches this area. Um, and then I guess I'll go to the end here and loop back. So this is some more die cast. Some more Living Dead. Uh, this is vintage Dungeons and Dragons books and role playing games. This is comics and mags. We got a lunchbox section, some Barbies, miscellaneous. Here is a Motu Classic section. This and the other side of this case is all music related toys. And then we've got a ton of records. They're all designated into Basically genre, they're not alphabetized or anything like that. And some more music related toys, comics, comics and mags. There's a little Lord of the Rings section, vintage music shirts, here's a plushy bin, uh, silkies, and then over here, we have our little pop section and here is more of our comic section. See this sign, we've been running the sale for a while now where everything has been buy two get one free. This is all Marvel and DC, 
just kind of all in one area. Some big Star Wars stuff that didn't fit in the Star Wars aisle. There's another box, Millennium Falcon, Chucky. Here is some non-sports and sports stuff, Pokemon stuff. You just kind of dig through sealed Pokemon, new and vintage Pokemon, uh, MetaZoo, Flesh and Blood, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, a little bit of everything, sports stuff, graded sports, garbage pail kids, vintage sealed wax boxes of like 80s and 90s sports. Um, more top shelf stuff and this actually might be the last area I didn't touch on yet which was the G1 Transformers case we usually try and keep this pretty stocked all right so I think that's gonna do it I'm gonna spin around here real quick so you can kind of get the idea it's roughly 4,000 square feet of vintage toys. And if you made it this far, feel free to like, subscribe. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. And uh, here's the info on the signing we have. Saturday, February 5th, 12 to 3. The host of the major wrestling figure podcast, Matt Cardona. And uh, tickets are live. Bit.ly slash meet Matt Cardona. All right. Thanks, guys. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.